United Parcel Service UPS is an American multinational package delivery and supply chain management company. The Global Logistics Company is headquartered in the U.S. city of Sandy Springs, Georgia, which is a part of the Greater Atlanta metropolitan area. Along with the central package delivery operation, the UPS brand name in a fashion similar to that of competitor FedEx is used to denote many of its divisions and subsidiaries, including its cargo airline UPS Airlines, freight-based trucking operation UPS Freight, formerly overnight transportation, and retail-based packing and shipping centers the UPS Store. History. Foundation On August 28, 1907, James Casey founded the American Messenger Company with Claude Ryan in Seattle, Washington, capitalized with $100 in debt. Most deliveries at this time were made on foot and bicycles were used for longer trips. The American Messenger Company focused primarily on package delivery to retail stores with special delivery mail delivered for its largest client the United States Postal Service. In 1913 the company acquired a Model T Ford as its first delivery vehicle. Casey and Ryan merged with a competitor, Evett McCabe, and formed Merchants Parcel Delivery. Consolidated delivery was also introduced, combining packages addressed to a certain neighborhood onto one delivery vehicle. In 1916 Charlie Soderstrom joined Merchants Parcel Delivery bringing in more vehicles for the growing delivery business. In 1919 the company expanded for the first time outside of Seattle to Oakland, California and changed its name to United Parcel Service. The name change to United Parcel Service was to remind the company expansion that operations were still united under the same organization and Parcel identified the type of business offered as part of its service. Common Carrier Service was acquired in 1922 from a company in Los Angeles, California. UPS became one of the only companies in the United States to offer Common Carrier Service. At first Common Carrier was only limited to a small area around Los Angeles but by 1927 expanded to areas up to 125 miles outside the city. In 1924 a conveyor belt system was debuted for the handling of packages for UPS operations. In 1930, a consolidated service began in New York City, and soon after in other major cities in the East and the Midwest. The use of common carrier for delivery between all customers placed UPS in direct competition with the United States Postal Service and the Interstate Commerce Commission. The common carrier service was applied in cities where UPS could use the service without the authority of the ICC and state commerce commissions. The first city for UPS to use common carrier status outside California was Chicago, Illinois in 1953. Air service through UPS was first used in 1929 through private airlines. However, the Great Depression and a lack of volume ended the air service. In 1953 UPS resumed air service called UPS Blue Label Air with two-day service to major cities along the East Coast and West Coast. <laughs> Expansion and diversification In 1975, UPS moved its headquarters to Greenwich, Connecticut and began serving all of the 48 contiguous states of the United States. The expanded operations to all 48 states made UPS the first package delivery company to serve every address in the continental United States. UPS went international in 1975 establishing operations in Canada and in 1976 operations were established in Germany. On February 28, UPS Limited, later changed to UPS Canada Limited, began operations in Toronto, Ontario. UPS Canada's head office is located in Burlington, Ontario. In 1976, UPS established a domestic operation in West Germany. UPS Next Day Air Service was launched in 1985 for all 48 states plus Puerto Rico. 
In 1988, UPS Airlines was launched with authorization from the Federal Aviation Administration. UPS Airlines became the fastest growing airline in FAA history and today is the tenth largest airline in the United States. Domestic air service was added to Germany in 1989. In 1991, UPS moved its headquarters to Sandy Springs, Georgia, a suburb of Atlanta. In 1992, UPS acquired both Hallfast and Carryfast and rebranded them UPS Supply Chain Solutions. Hallfast provided the pallet haulage and trucking network for the Carryfast group of companies. By 1993 UPS was delivering up to 11.5 million packages and documents per day. The large volume of UPS customers in the 1990s made UPS develop new technology for better efficiency. A handheld device called Delivery Information Acquisition Device was created to record and upload delivery information to the UPS network immediately upon pickup by every UPS driver. In 1992, UPS began tracking all ground shipments electronically. In 1994, UPS.com debuted, and provided the perfect interface to make what was primarily internal operational information available for customer access. In 1995, UPS acquired Sonicare to offer service parts logistics and compete with Choice Logistics. In the same year UPS launched UPS Logistics Group to facilitate global supply chain management solutions and consulting for customer needs. In 1997, a walkout by the 185,000 members of the Teamsters shut down UPS for 16 days. In 1998, UPS Capital was established to enable companies to grow their business through a comprehensive menu of integrated financial services through UPS. UPS acquired Challenger in 1999 to expand its operations in Latin America. On November 10, 1999, UPS became a public company in the largest initial public offering of the century. Topic: 21st century. In 2001, UPS acquired Mailboxes Etc. Inc. In 2003, approximately 3,000 Mailboxes Etc. Inc. were rebranded as the UPS Store. In 2004, UPS entered the heavy freight business with purchase of Menlo Worldwide Forwarding, a former subsidiary of Menlo Worldwide. UPS rebranded it as UPS Supply Chain Solutions. The purchase price was $150 million and the assumption of $110 million in long-term debt. On August 5, 2005, UPS announced that it has completed its acquisition of less than truckload LTL trucking company Overnight Transportation for $1.25 billion. This was approved by the FTC and overnight shareholders on August 4, 2005. In 2005 UPS offered non-stop delivery service between Guangzhou and the United States. On April 28, 2006, overnight officially became UPS Freight. On October 3, 2005, UPS completed the purchase of Lynx Express Limited, one of the largest independent parcel carriers in the United Kingdom, for £55.5 .5 million, .1 million after receiving approval for the transaction from the European Commission. The first joint package car centre operation, in Dartford, Kent, is opened in 2006. On August 28, 2007, United Parcel Service celebrated its 100th anniversary. All Nippon Airways, a Star Alliance member, and UPS formed a cargo alliance and code share to transport member cargo in 2008, similarly to an airline alliance. On March 19, 2012, UPS announced that it intended to acquire TNT Express for $6.8 billion, in a move to help expand its presence in European and Asian markets. However, the deal fell through in January 2013 after it was announced that UPS had failed to obtain permission from the European Commission and as such had been blocked on competition grounds. 
In February 2012 UPS acquired Brussels-based company Kiala that provides e-commerce retailers the option to have goods delivered to a conventional retail location. Finances For the fiscal year 2017, UPS reported earnings of $4.910 billion, with an annual revenue of $65.872 billion, an increase of 8.2% over the previous fiscal cycle. UPS's shares traded at over $107 per share, and its market capitalization was valued at over $90.6 billion in October 2018. UPS ranked number 44 on the 2018 Fortune 500 list of the largest United States corporations by total revenue. Topic operations UPS's primary business is the time-definite delivery of packages and documents worldwide. In recent years, UPS has extended its service portfolio to include less than truckload (LTL) transportation, primarily in the US, and supply chain services. UPS reports its operations in three segments, U.S. domestic package operations, international package operations, and supply chain and freight operations. U.S. domestic package U.S. domestic package operations include the time-definite delivery of letters, documents, and packages throughout the United States. Topic: International package. International package operations include delivery to more than 220 countries and territories worldwide, including shipments wholly outside the United States, as well as shipments with either origin or distribution outside the United States. Topic: Supply chain and freight. Supply chain and freight (UPS SCS for UPS Supply Chain Solutions) includes UPS forwarding and contract logistics operations, UPS freight, and other related business units. UPS forwarding and logistics business provides services in more than 175 countries and territories worldwide, and includes worldwide supply chain design, execution and management, freight forwarding and distribution, customs brokerage, mail and consulting services. UPS Freight offers a variety of less than truckload LTL and truckload TL services to customers in North America. Other business units within this segment include the UPS Store and UPS Capital. Trailer, Railroad Reporting Marks, UPGX, UPGZ, UPOZ, UPSZ, UPWZ, UPSC, UPSU, NONZ NMFTASCAC Code, UPSS, UPSN, UPSC Personnel structure UPS employs approximately 444,000 staff, 362,000 in the U.S. and 82,000 internationally. Approximately 240,000 UPS drivers, package handlers and clerks are represented by the International Brotherhood of Teamsters. During the United Parcel Service strike of 1997, the company's only nationwide strike in its history, which lasted 16 days, Teamster President Ron Carey negotiated a new contract for workers. <laughs> <laughs> Chief Executives 1907–1962, James E. Jim. Casey 1962 to 1972, George D. Smith. 1972-1973, Paul Obercotter. 1973 to 1980, Harold Obercotter. 1980 to 1984, George Lamb. 1984 to 1989, John W. Rogers. 1989 to 1996, Kent C. Oz. Nelson. 1997 to 2001, James P. Kelly. 
2002 to 2007, Michael L. Mike Sq. 2007-2008, Iqbal Johansson. 2008 to 2014, Scott Davis. 2014 present, David Abney. Topic competitors Major competitors in the United States include United States Postal Service USPS and FedEx, along with regional carriers such as OnTrack, Eastern Connection, and LSO formerly Lone Star Overnight. In addition to these domestic carriers, UPS competes with a variety of international operators, including Canada Post and its subsidiary Purolator, Transforce, Deutsche Post and its subsidiary DHL, Royal Mail, Japan Post, India Post and many other regional carriers, national postal services and air cargo handlers see package delivery and mail pages. Historically, the bulk of competition for UPS came from inexpensive ground-based delivery services, such as Parcel Post or Choice Logistics. In 1998, FedEx expanded into ground parcel delivery through its acquisition of RPS formerly Roadway Package System, rebranding it as FedEx Ground in 2000. In 2003, DHL acquired Airborne Express, expanding its operations in the United States. In response to the expansion of FedEx and DHL, UPS partnered with the U.S. Postal Service to offer UPS Mail Innovations, a program that allows UPS to pick up mail and packages weighing under one pound separately from the main ground network and transfer them to a USPS center, or destination delivery unit the, for final distribution. This process is also known as zone skipping, long used by parcel consolidators. UPS also has a separate product called SurePost which uses the UPS ground network to deliver packages weighing under 10 pounds to the nearest UPS package center which transfers them to the USPS the for final mile delivery more recently the continued growth of online shopping combined with increasing awareness of the role of transportation including package delivery on the environment has contributed to the rise of emerging competition from niche carriers or rebranded incumbents for instance, the U.S. Postal Service claims greener delivery of parcels on the assumption that USPS letter carriers deliver to each U.S. address, six days a week anyway, and therefore offer the industry's lowest fuel consumption per delivery. Other carriers, like Parcelpool.com, which specializes in residential package delivery to ARPO, FPO addresses, Hawaii, Alaska, Puerto Rico, and other U.S. territories, arose in response to increased demand from catalog retailers and online e-tailers for low-cost residential delivery services closely matching service standards normally associated with more expensive expedited parcel delivery. topic transportation UPS operates over 119,000 delivery vehicles worldwide ranging from bicycles to tractor trailer trucks in a long running company policy to avoid advertisement or endorsement of a vehicle manufacturer all external manufacturer emblems and badging are removed when a vehicle enters service whenever possible the typical lifespan of a UPS ground vehicle is 20 to 25 years or more, lasting until the structural integrity is compromised. The company does not resell any of its ground vehicles, so retired vehicles are almost always stripped of reusable parts before being sent to be crushed, broken up. Prior to scrapping, UPS trucks and trailers have all company branding painted over and are assigned an ADA automotive destruction authorization number and must be crushed under supervision of UPS automotive personnel, which records the vehicle's destruction. The only exception to this policy are vehicles taken off the road for internal use. Package cars repainted white are used for various purposes, typically at large hubs. Older semi-tractors sometimes see use as terminal tractors. Topic. Delivery vans UPS refers to its delivery van as a «package car». Several designs and sizes are used by the company, dependent on routes and package volume. 
The rounded nose design of fiberglass hood of the UPS package car was patented by the company in 1965. During the 2000s, hoods with flat sides were phased in. During the 2010s, automotive sourced composite headlight units fared into the hood began to replace the long running round sealed beam headlights. Morgan Olsen, Grumman Olsen, Union City Body, and Utilimaster manufacture the bodies for UPS delivery vans. While older vehicles were based on Ford or General Motors P chassis, vehicles manufactured since the 1990s are based on Navistar, Freightliner, or Workhorse chassis. Originally, UPS delivery vehicles were equipped with manual transmissions and steering, although many newer vehicles are updated with automatic transmissions. For lower volume delivery routes, UPS utilizes production-based vehicles, including minivans including the Ford Transit Connect and Dodge Grand Caravan C, V, and Mercedes-Benz Dodge Freightliner Sprinter box vans. UPS has ordered Modec electric vans for its UK and German fleets. Energy costs play a huge part in the potential profitability of package delivery companies. Topic: Tractor trailers. UPS commonly refers to its ground package tractor trailers as feeders. These vehicles are distinct from the UPS freight fleet. In line with its delivery vehicles, nearly all UPS tractor units are painted in a Pullman Brown livery. Prior to the 1990s, many tractors were of cabover configuration. As trailer length laws were revised in the United States, the company transitioned towards the use of conventional style semi tractor. As of 2018, nearly the entire UPS semi tractor fleet consists of conventional cab trucks. In North America, UPS utilizes a fleet of trucks from several manufacturers, including Mack Trucks Pinnacle and, Vision and Navistar International ProStar Plus and 9900R, along with PACCAR vehicles Kenworth T800, T660 and T680. Older vehicles in the fleet include Ford, Sterling Tractors Aeromax, Align, Freightliner Argosy, the final cab of a truck used by UPS, Max CH and International 8100 tractors are in the process of being phased out. Previous trucks used by UPS include the Ford L9000, Ford Aeromax, International 8100 and 8200, International 9670, GMC Astro, Peterbilt 362 Ford L9000, Ford Aeromax, White GMC High Cabava, Road Commander 2, Mac CH, Mac MH Ultraliner, Mac F, and Diamond T, Diamond Rio Cabavas. At one time, UPS used electric-powered trucks made by White Motors for deliveries in Manhattan, NYC. There were only a few hundred of them, but they were notable for their spooky silence when running. Painted a light gray, company-owned semi-trailers are distinguished by a large UPS emblem on the forward portion of the trailer sides. Newer trailers are distinguished by the fitment of trailer skirts. Designed in several configurations, UPS uses several lengths of trailers 28, 45, 48, and 53 feet, along with standard flat bottom van trailers. There are drop frame trailers largely phased out of the fleet and trailer on flat car trailers TOFC. The latter are trailers designed for transport on railroad cars. Dependent on state and provincial regulations, many UPS short trailers are towed in tandem. Bicycles In 2008, UPS started hiring bicycle delivery personnel in Vancouver, Washington, and in several cities in Oregon, Portland, Salem, Corvallis, Eugene, and Medford. In fall of 2018, UPS announced a new program in Seattle, Washington using pedal assist electric cargo bikes made by Portland based Truck Trike around Pike Place and other congested downtown areas. Trains UPS contracts with several railroad companies in the United States to provide intermodal transport for its cargo. Topic: 
Topic: Cargo airline. UPS Airlines is a fleet of 245 aircraft serving over 200 countries and territories worldwide. Based out of Louisville, Kentucky, home to Worldport, its worldwide air hub, UPS Airlines operates several major hubs throughout the United States. In addition to Worldport, the largest UPS hubs in the United States are located in Rockford, Illinois, Chicago, and Philadelphia. Outside of North America, a hub in Cologne, Germany services Europe. In Asia, UPS Airlines operates a facility in Hong Kong and two hubs in mainland China. Topic: Company brand. Topic: Brown. The brown color that UPS uses on its vehicles and uniforms is called Pullman Brown. Company founder James E. Casey originally wanted company vehicles to use a yellow paint scheme, but one of his partners, Charlie Soderstrom, stated that a yellow vehicle would be hard to keep clean and that Pullman railroad cars were brown for just that reason. During the 2000s, the company used the familiarity of its color scheme in an advertising slogan, What Can Brown Do For You? Font UPS commissioned brand consultancy Futurebrand to develop its own font, UPS Sans, for use in marketing and communication material. UPS Sans was created by slightly altering certain parts of FSI Fontshop International's font FF DAX without permission. This has resulted in an agreement between FSI Fontshop International and Futurebrand to avoid litigation. Topic. Environmental record As of 2013, UPS has over 104,900 vehicles in operation worldwide including nearly 7,000 alternative fuel vehicles. In May 2008 UPS placed an order for 200 hybrid electric vehicles adding to the 50 it had at that point and 300 compressed natural gas which are 20% more fuel efficient and add to the 800 it already has vehicles from Daimler Trucks North America the company added 200 hybrid electric vehicles to its fleet in 2016 UPS received a striding Rating of 80 points out of 100 totals on the environmental scorecard by the Climate Counts Group for its efforts to lessen the company's impact on the environment. UPS has also been awarded the Clean Air Excellence Award by the United States Environmental Protection Agency because of the alternative fuel program it has developed. In October 2009, UPS became the first small package carrier to offer customers the chance to buy carbon offsets to neutralize the greenhouse gas emissions generated by the transport of their packages. Although initially only available on UPS.com and to high-volume shippers, they are now widely available through UPS shipping systems and UPS-ready third-party shipping systems. Controversy On May 26, 2017, a federal judge ordered United Parcel Service to pay nearly $247 million in damages and penalties for illegally shipping large amounts of untaxed cigarettes in New York. See also Big Brown 2008 Kentucky Derby and Preakness Stakes winner, named after the company Maxicode, a UPS-developed and utilized square barcode-like symbol that appears on their package label James E. Casey, founder of UPS <laughs>